Hello everyone. So there is a very good news for all of you, those who are passing out uh, high school this year. So uh, Indian Statistical Institute is launching the new course this year that is uh, Bachelor of Statistical Data Science. So uh, as you can see on the screen, so uh, this course has been launched this year and uh, uh, the form fill up has also started. So we are going to discuss everything regarding this course. This course has many, many advantages as well. And uh, also we are going to discuss the eligibility criteria, how to prepare for this exam and all the other details as well. So the very first thing is that many students come and ask that like we can't solve the subjective questions which are coming in the BMAT BSTAT exam. So uh, wh wh how can we prepare and uh, uh, we have only a very short period of time. So what are uh, the books we should follow? and uh, what are the uh, like uh, prerequisite we should have so many questions comes while solving subjectives and how to write the proofs even so those who think that i mean subjective problems are not for them so there is now a way out for you all and you can also apply uh, for uh, courses in isi after passing out to your high school so which is uh, this course bachelor of statistical data science and this course only uh, like uh, for uh, for the entrance exam you only have 30 questions of j level so as they have stated in their website so it's again going to be um, uh, something like uh, the question paper the first paper that you have for bmat bstat okay so again uh, i have a request for indian statistical institute as well that is uh, those who are sitting for bmat bstat so uh, do something that is make the first paper same as for this exam as well so that like if people who are supposed sitting for B stat they also can opt for this program suppose if they do not qualify in B stat so then uh, they might have some uh, like they might have done well in the first paper but they might not have done it well in the second paper so that's why they are not getting uh, eligible for the B stat like they are not finally uh, getting uh, I mean uh, the qualifying marks to qualify for the entrance but they are doing well in the first paper so please also do something that is get uh, I mean do give them also a chance so that like they can also go for this course as well so it's very easy to do basically make the first paper same for both these courses okay and also in the uh, uh, form you can just mention that like uh, if you want to opt for this program so you can tick mark it and so uh, ultimately make the two first papers same and so uh, you, uh, I mean uh, the institute can easily like uh, make the cutoff for everyone and so uh, the best students will basically like even for the institute it will also benefit in this way that is the uh, they will get the best uh, or the eligible students for this course as well and uh, you might say that like uh, the list will be filled up with those even who have qualified for the B stat as well. So since people who are getting B stat or maybe B math, uh, so they will be going for those courses, right? So then automatically that list will get uh, like uh, uh, empty for, I mean, the people will shift from there. And so uh, the other students who are eligible for that course will get the chance. So this is my request. So please uh, everyone do share it uh, so that the message reaches. And I will also personally send an email to the Dean uh, as well. So yes, now let's talk about the course details. Okay. So talking about the course details, as you can see that, uh, uh, even the course structure is given, which is a very, very nice course structure. So, uh, after CMI has started data science, so this data science market is now evolving. And, uh, uh, so CMI also started their data science program, but it's only for the master's students, but now uh, for the uh, high school passing students, they, you have like a batch, I mean, uh, you, you, uh, you have a very nice uh, opportunity for, uh, even in the bachelors, you can study for data science. And uh, what are the eligibility criteria? It's very, very simple. You need to have mathematics and English. So those students who are not even coming from the science background, they can also opt for it. So uh, even like the students coming from uh, economics, uh, so those who have in their 12th like stat, eco, so they can also apply for this. Anyway, you just need to have maths and English as a subject and you can apply for this course. Now method of selection, as I just said that uh, like uh, the, it's like a J pattern. So it's just basically you have like uh, to prepare 
you just go and see how the th uh, first paper of bstat bmath are so that's basically uh, the level and they are going to follow that uh, and also sample papers will be given on the website in the isi admission so this is where uh, isi uh, cal.ac.in slash admission and so you can just google it like isi admission and you will get this website uh, so the uh, form fill up has already started you can apply for it and uh, yes now let's talk about uh, the other things that is the fee is 1 lakh INR per uh, I mean per semester so how many semesters are they going to be so uh, they're going to be like uh, it's, a, it's a four year course even you can uh, opt out uh, at three years we are going to talk about that but even if you're completing four years so there will be eight semesters so eight lakhs and some other costs as well and uh, but it's uh, waiver is full waiver is given to SCST, PH or PWBD uh, so these categories and uh, yes uh, now the next thing is that the most important point is that uh, these co uh, the total number of seats is 75 so it's going to be offered at Kolkata, Delhi and uh, Bangalore okay so uh, Bangalore and uh, as you can see that is uh, like each uh, each center will have a capacity of 25 and the classes will go in hybrid mode but hybrid is not like you would sit uh, home and uh, I mean watch online sessions no you will have to be present at the Institute but it might happen that the lecture is going uh, in Kolkata and you are sitting at Delhi Center so their uh, online video uh, uh, conference will be held okay so uh, this is how the course is going to be arranged and uh, now the other thing is that the ex uh, so the exit option but before the exit option I would like to tell you that the students who are like uh, think that uh, uh, your su the subjective portion for BMath BSTAT it's not your cup of tea so please do I mean take your decision very very uh, like wisely and uh, do give it a uh, thought before applying for the course okay whichever course you want to opt for and uh, yeah so for the exit option so as you can see that it's a four year course okay so uh, this these are the type of uh, like courses which are mainly required for applying uh, into a PhD uh, uh, I mean program in the US so mainly like the their requirements are like 10 plus 2 plus 4 now for the Indian students we have uh, this uh, like a very difficult thing because we have to complete usually like 10 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 so we have to uh, cover another year to qualify their eligibility criteria but not anymore if you are going into uh, this course so it's basically uh, done the structure is done so that like one can uh, one do not have to waste another one more year to apply for those such programs okay now uh, the first thing is that you can also like uh, opt out for it after a three years course like a bachelor degree usually held in India and uh, you can also apply for the MSTAT where, where there will be like uh, certain criteria as well uh, like uh, if you are going to go directly into MSTAT so there will be some CGPA criteria but uh, again you can also like uh, give the exam and MSTAT exam and apply for it okay and uh, also you can take uh, like uh, this uh, the, the second point is the PhD program in abroad that I told and also there is another one thing that is like you can also uh, complete the integrated part so like uh, suppose uh, someone says that no we, I want to apply for PhD program in India I want to stay in India so then in India you need 10 plus 2 plus 3 right so you need 5 years so uh, for them also like here you have uh, that is you can uh, uh, complete uh, another one more year as said here there is an option to do fifth year to get in uh, to get an integrated uh, like master of statistical data science okay so you get the master's uh, degree as well if you uh, go another year as well so and even after that like if you are completing the master's of uh, five years uh, so you try to understand what are the benefits like obviously you can apply for uh, these jobs pl placement cells are there but try to understand that like uh, I mean you if you are like doing your bachelor's from somewhere then to get into the masters again you have to prepare for many exams you have to qualify and get into a good institute so you don't have to worry about all those things so it's just uh, you I mean you can once you get in into this course you know that you can 
even have the option to complete till the fifth year and get a master's degree uh, uh, like ma integrated master's degree from uh, this uh, Indian Statistical Institute and uh, in, in, in data science which is uh, very currently it's a very hot topic okay so now the main question uh, what should we do how should we prepare so for uh, you all what you have to do is mainly like you have to follow this book so this is the 10 plus 2 tomato book so uh, this is very very common uh, for to those who know uh, who are preparing for uh, isi exams uh, so for uh, as you all know that isi mainly like focuses on these type of problems uh, that is somewhat like number theory polynomials uh, combinatorics so uh, so these cyber problems you uh, you would be getting uh, so this is kind of a question bank where you have these uh, problems like uh, more than 800 problems are there and also the past year uh, papers are also there so go through the past year papers as well uh, where you get to know uh, what would be the difficulty level of that paper and uh, the 30 question paper that you'll be having and uh, yeah so that I hope I have discussed everything so uh, yeah if you think that I have missed anything, so please do comment in the uh, comment section and I will uh, get back to you. And also uh, for these links, uh, I, so you will also get them in the description below. So yeah, and uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. So thanks for watching and please do share it among your uh, friends and the other mem uh, other uh, others who are like trying to apply to Indian Statistical Institute uh, programs and uh, who are interested in data science and uh, yeah that's it for this video see you in the next one